Yo, what's up guys, home? welcome to this brand new video here on my channel and today we got a crazy topic. Mr. Savage explained why he couldn't qualify for the EU DreamHack finals and explained his issues with the current state of Fortnite competitive. And after that we're going to talk about Epic's first attempt to create separate loot pools for pubs in the competitive game modes, which is huge in my opinion, so stay tuned. Really quick interruption guys, give me one minute to introduce myself to potentially new subscribers. This channel is none of those clickbait Fortnite channels. My name is Michael, I'm a 19 year old kid from Germany who is trying to pursue his dreams to become a full time YouTuber. On this channel I do high quality reviews about the most popular gaming gear. I do educational videos, I give you guys tips on how to build a PC on a budget. I sit here until 5am Central European time to get that one funny clip just for you guys to enjoy it. And all my videos are supposed to be entertaining. My channel will offer you more original content than Tana Monjo's OnlyFans. And it's free! Simply, no matter what topic I decide to record a video about, I always try to give you guys the best possible experience. And now let's get straight into today's video. First of all, a huge shout out to Teeks. My man's popped off in the DreamHack finals and secured first place. This man is an absolute beast and deserved to win the tourney without any doubts. And it was again a really entertaining DreamHack. But from now on, I think everybody is looking forward for the next FNCS, which is going to be amazing as well, with the amount of top tier trios we got right now in all regions. And I don't know if it's just me guys, but trios is the most fun meta. And let me know what you think about this, comment down below on your favorite game mode. Do you prefer solos, duos, trios or even squads? Simply let me know. As mentioned at the beginning, Mr. Savage unfortunately couldn't manage to qualify for the DreamHack finals on Europe. We all know Mr. Savage is a top tier player up until this date. So everyone was wondering What happened bro, what happened? And basically a couple of minutes after the standings for the semi-finals were released, Mr. Savage posted a picture on Twitter where he explained what basically screwed over his games. So let's take a look right now. As we can see his first two games didn't go really well. He died twice before endgame and got one pump from a bush camper in the second game. Yikes. The third game was really good though, a top 6 placement with 2 kills which is about 54 points, nothing there to complain about. The fourth game again went pretty bad, he could only manage to secure 6 placement points and died to a player which was as it seems pretty low HP at that point. What is really amazing to me is that he managed to pop off twice after really bad games and could manage to keep on a healthy mentality to win 2 games after such unlucky runs. And let's talk about the final two games which really showcase the main problem with the game at the moment. The majority of people seem to really like the season, but there's one negative aspect. Epic Games removed the 100% chest spawn rate, which basically destroyed the loot pass for everyone in the comp scene and pros are begging since weeks for it to come back, but Epic didn't really seem to care and they kept it as they want. And I think everyone who plays at least Arena realized how a peer good shotgun can be off spawn nowadays, especially with the 50-50 chest spawn rate. Mr. Savage described that he could manage to find a shotgun out of 8 chests, which is really insane. But just imagine he would have gotten every single chest spawn at his POI. The chances to actually get decent loot would be much much higher. And I simply can't understand why Epic Games want to make the game more RNG based. And finally guys, the last point. Mr. Savage pointed out that he got killed by a person which needed a ridiculous amount of points to still qualify. Out of all the competitive games out there, this is an issue which only appears in Fortnite guys. With all the freedom we get from Epic Games to play every Tony as we want without any rules, stuff like this can happen a lot. Because of the lack of given rules, everyone can W key everyone and destroy the entire tournament. Griefing and stream sniping is such a huge problem in this community. Pros are getting griefed on a daily base, cheaters make it into the FNCS finals and all around our competitive scene is really bad at this point. I think we've all been at that point where we experienced getting randomly pushed in storm because the guy was frustrated or needed as much points as he could get at any cost to still place in money or qualify for the finals. And now let's move on with our second topic. Epic Games actually removed boogie bombs and decreased the spawn rate of crash pads around 40 minutes before the DreamHack started. Some pros were upset with these short term changes, but most of them were actually happy about it. But only a few people realized that we never before really had an adjustment to the meta for only competitive. This is huge guys. Epic Games maybe finally realized that two different loot pools would help this community so much. And this is it so far for this video guys. If you enjoyed it make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications. And for the next few days I've got a couple of reviews to drop so stay tuned. And have a great day, stay safe, I'm out, peace.